newspaper files of the early West record many stories of famous and notorious characters of that period. The weirdly shaped formation of rocks you see here, less than 50 miles from Los Angeles, are named after one of California's most ruthless bandits, the Bercio Vasquez. He cut a trail of vengeance in the early 70s from San Diego to San Jose. Hey, senors. I think you made a mistake. The Americana bar is down the street. No mistake, amigo. We want a drink here. As you wish. Go on with the dance, muchacha. Go ahead, Dolores. Yeah, make it real pretty. <laughs> The doctor would be better. Quick. No, the priest. You heard my sister. Get the priest. Potestate tue ars atque ecclesiae tue sante, cum omni desiderate prosperitate restituas, per Christum Dominum nostrum. Now at rest. She was so young for this ugly dying. She died in the state of grace, my son. While the Americano wolves roam the streets. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. It is not for you to stand in judgment, Tiburcio. No more candles in your church, Padre. As long as one gringo roams the state of California, I will say my prayers with guns. San Benito, the Tres Pinos Massacre. It has been 20 years since the death of Basque's sister. I knew him when he was a small boy. I was parish priest in Monterrey. Tell me, Father, have you seen him since? Several times, but not for almost a year. We're checking on everyone that he might possibly come to see. It is my constant prayer that he might wish to see me, for he is a troubled man, torn between his sinful life and God. We've been on his trail. We know he's somewhere here in the south. He comes and goes without warning, like a thunderstorm. If he shows up, would you let me know? What did you say was your name, Singer? Matt Clark. And your business, Senor Clark? I do not believe I understood too well. I'm a railroad detective, Father. Vasquez robbed one of our pay officers a month ago and stabbed a man. We've got a reward out for him, dead or alive. I should like to see Basquez caught, but alive, of course, so that he might make his peace with God. You give me all the help that you can, and I'll do my best to bring him in alive. Welcome to San Gabriel Mission, Miss Adams. How are you, Matt? Oh, I feel much better now that you're here. I'll go on. All you care about is that information I brought from Monterey. A telegram you sent about Father Amador was enough. As a matter of fact, I have him right here. Father. Frankie, I'd like you to meet Father Amador. Your charming wife, of course. 
Matt, what have you been telling people? Pleased to meet you, Father, but I'm Senorita Adams, Mr. Clark's partner. Partner? That's right, Father. She's a detective also. We work together. Oh, no. Such a dangerous profession. Don't worry about me, Father. I'm mostly useful in digging up information. For instance, that uh, you baptized Vasquez when he was a baby. And you were once a very close friend of his. Not friend, Senorita. It was such a long time ago. He was more like a brother, as we are all brothers in the sight of God. Frankie, you go with the father. I've got to catch up with Sheriff Rowland. Father, be sure she says her prayers. See you later, Frankie. There is food and drink for you inside. Billy Rowland, Sheriff of Los Angeles, had been searching every possible place where Vasquez might hide. When I joined him, we pooled what information we had. Oh, hello, Matt. How are you? Fine, Sheriff. But it's taken me a good two hours to track you down. Well, I've been posting guards. I've got the whole area blocked in, and every pass is guarded. Well, I'm positive Vasquez is within a 15-mile radius of Los Angeles. Then it's only a matter of time. He can't sit forever. Sooner or later, you're going to have to make another break for money. Instead of going back to Los Angeles, why don't we make our headquarters here at the Mission? Vasquez's friends won't be looking for you there, but they would be back in the city. It's a good idea, Matt. If anything turns up, tell the posse we'll be at the Mission. You are looking well, Pedrito. My life is simple. I have no worries, except you. And very soon I will not have even that. You are thinking of death, perhaps? Not my death, hombre, but yours. Hey, you're trying to frighten me with visions of hell. I do not have to go so far away. You will be frightened enough on Earth, and soon. Who was the woman in the garden? A traveler from the east. A guest of the mission. Does she know of me? Who does not know of Vasquez? Why did you come here? For your blessing? My blessing is not for those who continue to defy the law of God. Then I will confess. Ah, que bueno. And you will also confess to the civil authorities? You speak with a foolish tongue, Padre. I would have not a chance in the gringo courts. They would hang me. If you are unwilling to abandon your life of sin, then you have not the firm purpose of amendment for a good confession. It has been many years since I had your blessing, Padre. I have done without it. I can do without it now. But money I need, now. You know I have nothing. It is most important I get to old Mexico. Even if I have to rob this old mission. You have sunk that low? You who could have been a respected man? Look at you. Harder than grease with vice. Sulking in rat holes. Suspicious of all good men. You dirty, blasphemous wretch! How dare you come under my roof and ask me for favors? Be careful, Padre. Do not push too far. You would shoot me, Vasquez? Then go ahead. For you, the bullet is always the last word. The end of the argument, eh? Bueno, go on. Shoot!
Senorita, where did you have in mind to go? Well? For a ride. Who is this man, Padre? A thousand bucks. Be silent. I never permit anyone to leave a place before I leave it myself. Especially when they are in such a hurry. Perhaps the senorita was on her way to Los Angeles to see Sheriff Rollins. Hey, Padrito. The young Americana is a guest of the mission. Leave her out of this. Yeah, this old mission gives me nothing. No blessing, no money, no safety. The gringo spies are everywhere. Perhaps you can help me. You and the lady will come with me. Andale. Take them to the coach. Where are you taking us? It is not necessary for you to know. Get in. Chavez, get on the box and drive. Take them to the hideout. We will need them to help us get us into Mexico. that we got the break we wanted, but not the way we wanted it. You two deputies trail Vasquez. We're going after the coach. Now, keep Vasquez in sight, but don't try to take him. He's desperate. We headed across the foothills to pick up the main stage road going north from San Gabriel. About 10 miles north of the mission, we spotted them. you feel, Father? Not too bad. I'm grateful that I can feel at all. You are not hurt, my dear? No, no, Padre. Hey. The rich gringo moved the cattle to market, eh? They all have money. Come on, we get it some way. following the trail the two deputies had left for us. This gun hasn't been fired. Didn't even give him a chance. Matt, that dust on the other side of the hill.
care of. This man's been shot, Sheriff. So is this one. A fellow by the name of Lee. That's his cook. Vasquez? Yeah. Didn't even give him a chance. Here's his strong box. Yeah, I doubt if there's much in it. Lee was always miserly. What's that? Nothing to support check. Let me see that. Take a look at that, Sheriff. Notice the number? Yeah, 235. The next check in the book says 237. So? So what happened to number 236? You think he made out a check? I don't know. This check's been blotted. He was scared. His hand was shaky. It's made out to cash for $800. Now, why would Lee make a check out on the trail? Well, he wouldn't normally. This check is drawn on the Los Angeles Trust and Savings Company. If we hurry, we might get to the bank before check 236 shows up. I'll send some deputies back to clean up. Sheriff Rowland and I watched from around the corner. The bank manager was to let us know if anyone came in to cash an $800 draft against Lee's account. George Allen. They call him Greek George. Lives north of here in Nichols Canyon. We suspected him of selling stolen goods. The teller who cashed the check also identified the man as George Allen and the sign of the check as Lee, the murdered man. We were sure Vasquez was at Greek George's ranch. Straight for his ranch. How far is it? Not very far. Just around the bend in that canyon. We can cut him off. Let's go. I ain't done nothing. Here it is, Sheriff. $800 in cash. We're going to help you deliver this in person to Vasquez. Leave the horses here, boys. We're riding on in the wagon. Sheriff? Yeah. One of you men drop off here. It's too bad the man I make sign the check recognized me. We have to kill him. There's nothing we could do. Hiding his money in the bank. Hey, eight hundred dollars. What we can do with that in Mexico, eh, Vaquero? Yeah, 
El Greco. Hi, Greco. Did you get the money? Yes, Cabuccio. Bring it here. Show him the money. Tell him you have to hold the horses. Come on, guys. I have to hold the horses. Something is wrong. I can feel it. Go look in the wagon. Cut that gun, Vasquez! Well, senor, I have been the fool. Came to the Los Angeles jail and later removed him to San Jose for trial, where Judge Belden sentenced him to die. son for bringing him to me alive i can't take any credit for that father it just happened that way go with god from the morning watch even until night let us hope in the lord for with the lord there is mercy and with him is plenteous redemption. Gloria, Patri, et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erst in principio, et nunc et sempre, et in secula seculorum. Amen. It's too bad he couldn't have remembered the Ten Commandments 20 years sooner. Tiburcio Vasquez was hanged at 1.30 p.m. day, the 19th March, 1875, in San Jose, Santa Clara County, California. <laughs>